Jane, get me off this crazy thing called crypto. I'm your host, Andrew. This is Crypto Espresso, your one-stop shot of daily crypto news. The crypto coaster continues to go up and down and up and down, and uh, I think I'm going to be sick, but let's gently coast into the news today. No sudden movements, please. First up, one of China's biggest property developers has failed to settle overdue interest payments worth tens of millions of dollars. Evergrande reportedly hasn't paid the $82.5 million that was due on Monday after a 30-day grace period. Not only does this mean the company is on the brink of default, but it could trigger nasty sell-offs for Bitcoin. Evergrande, which is $300 billion in debt, risks sending shockwaves through the global markets if it collapses. Google has revealed its top trending searches for 2021, and cryptocurrencies dominated the list. Around the world, Dogecoin was one of the most popular searches in the news category, along with queries about Ethereum's price. Among the 10 biggest where-to-buy searches in America, six were related to crypto also. Dogecoin and Shiba Inu dominated the top two spots, beating queries related to PS5s and COVID masks. Non-fungible tokens haven't really appeared in major AAA video game titles. Until now, Ubisoft, one of the world's biggest developers, has announced that NFTs will be playing a starring role in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Known as Digits, players will be able to get their hands on coveted in-game items, each complete with their own serial number. We can't be sure about the like-to-dislike ratio in the announcement video, but at least 400 people seemed uh, pretty jazzed about it. Indian investors who fall afoul of new crypto laws could face a $2.7 million fine and an 18-month jail sentence. The Indian government is set to prohibit mining, generating, holding, selling, or dealing in digital currencies. Those who break the law could be arrested without a warrant and held without bail, according to Reuters. There are fears that measures could deal a blow to the country's booming crypto sector, with figures suggesting that India is home to as many as 20 million investors. And finally, the CEOs of six major cryptocurrencies are headed for a showdown with U.S. politicians in Congress later today. Representatives from Coinbase and FTX will be among them, and hopefully they're wearing flame-proof suits. The cryptocurrency reps are set to face a barrage of confrontational questions from lawmakers who are largely skeptical about digital assets. We're sending our thoughts and prayers. Be brave. And you too can be brave by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and clicking on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso goes live. If you want to learn more about our headlines or crypto in general, take a deep breath, puff up your chest, and ask Alex in the description below. Alex is very nice. They won't bite. I've been your host, Andrew. This has been Crypto Espresso, and we'll see you tomorrow.